Most people know that you emit lots of virus through respiratory particles and droplets from the lungs, um, but actually what's less known is that you actually emit more fecal, more viral particles in feces than you do from the lungs. So basically we're using that, basically tracking people's toilet movements. just monitor the amount of essentially dead virus in the wastewater and use that as a monitoring tool to basically work out how many people in the population you know have, have contracted the disease and, and essentially whether it's on the rise or the fall and you know it gives us a secondary you know clearly we can work out about clinical cases how many people often end up in hospital but it's a secondary check on whether things like lockdown measures are working. Sewage and faeces is, is actually a very useful tool and you can imagine with various parts of the sewage network we could be collecting essential faecal samples from hundreds, thousands or even millions of people and therefore it allows us to get a feel for the level of infection across a large population without having to go out and knock on everybody's door individually and ask for an individual sample. I fully understand people's fears, but there is no fear. Um, all of the evidence we have is that it's by person-to-person -person transmission via respiratory droplets. Um, when the virus enters the sewage system, it's deactivated. Um, and essentially, yeah, there is no risk to public health from sewage.